oh my goodness gracious so I am just a little bit on just a tad bit on the tired side this morning I did go to sleep early but I think I slept too much which I think is a thing so I'm gonna try to pull it together I do go to work today so I have some things that I need to get done before I go in I've been thinking about some things like regarding this channel whether I want to change up my filming schedule so like today like I'm not putting a video up today because I literally put up a video Wednesday Friday and yesterday and I really just didn't have it in me to film another video to put up today so this week's schedule is going to be Wednesday Friday and Saturday and that's because I have a vlog going up on Saturday of now that I think found you by Christina Forrest so that's why I'm not putting one up today but I do have some book mail that came in last week I just never opened it and I hate these ones that come like that where you have to like pop them open it's just ridiculous so I wonder what this one is yay okay oh it came so quick I wasn't expecting it to come this quick I thought it was gonna take a couple of weeks so I got a copy of the book Hair Story, Untangling the Roots of Black Hair by Ayana D. Bird and Lori L. Tharp. And I got this because this was mentioned in my current read, which is Tangled, or which is Twisted, which is a tangled history of black hair culture. And she actually mentions this book while she's discussing some stuff. So I thought I would pick this up. There are a couple of other nonfiction books about black hair that I wanted to pick up, but that was one that she specifically had talked about. And I was like, oh yeah, I really, really want that one. Oh, cool. Okay. So <laughs> it's amazing because I order stuff and then I don't remember that I've ordered it. So I got my soul to keep. And this is one that I picked up because we're supposed to be reading this and when I say we, I mean myself, Harley, Chloe, and Erica, and Brie are reading this one in October. I think we're reading Exodus by Nikki Drayden in September. And then this is our October pick. So I went ahead and purchased it because I need to get a little bit more into the horror genre. And I'm looking for horror authors of color. And I know that Brie recommends or recommended that one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this is Cobble Hill by Cicely Vaughn Zig Zigazar. Zigzar. I can't I never can say her last name, but this is the same author of Gossip Girl, and I believe that this is her first adult novel, and this comes out October 20th. This was sent to me by Atria or Atria Books. Uh, this was so it's three books that I think I have coming in from them the first one I believe I talked about a little bit last week I don't even know where I put my copy but I talked about that one a little bit last week but this is one that they sent me to read and review and I'm excited because I have read a couple of the Gossip Girl books I read them when I was younger I've seen the entire show so I'm interested to see how she is transitioning into more so adult lit so this will most likely be on my tbr for next month okay so tbr for this week i have a couple of things that i need to get through namely now that i found you because my vlog is going to go up on saturday i may also go ahead and start song of blood and stone because i was supposed to start this last week and i have not made any progress whatsoever as far as my audio listens are concerned I am listening this was random that I just decided to listen to this last week because I've been reading so much heavy stuff that I wanted something lighter and I picked up the marriage game y'all can see that there we go yeah so I picked up the marriage game and I have about an hour and a half of that left which it's been really really interesting not the best contemporary romance that I've listened to but definitely cute it's it's been super super funny I have some other stuff that I want to possibly read maybe like Real Men Knit by Kwana Jackson and may start that one next and then I also need to finish my read of Twisted by Emma Dabiri so I started that one but I need to finish it because I am going to have a review of that one going up on next Monday 
I believe that's the schedule that I think I'm going to follow. It's just going to go up on next Monday. So I'm just going to keep it a little bit more flexible this week because I'm just exhausted and I have a lot going on. And I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done for work. So I'm going to keep it as flexible as possible. I do know for a fact that I will be finishing now that I found you. But I need to jump on it and really get my stuff together. Because this is coming up on the second to the last week of August. And I feel like I haven't read anything, which is not true. It's never ever true. But I haven't really dug into my TBR the way that I've wanted to. So I need to make sure that I do that. But other than that, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get my vlog for this week together. And that'll be it for right now. And then I'll make sure I check in later. Oh my gosh, y'all. My mouth hurts. I just filmed my mid-month wrap-up, which is super, super late. It's not on time. And it's Tuesday. I didn't say it was Tuesday. But today is Tuesday, and yeah. I have been super busy yesterday. I did not read as much as I was supposed to read. I was on like a three-hour FaceTime call with a friend of mine, and um, I hadn't talked to him in a while, and we just were just talking. So I didn't read last night. I've been listening to Real Men Knit and by Quana Jackson, and I, it's so boring, but, and I'm so close to DNFing, but I'm probably not gonna DNF. I listened to that while I was doing laundry this morning and it just wasn't it. Let's see, what else have I been doing? I started yoga yesterday. I did a 30 minute yoga session yesterday and it was so nice and relaxing. So I was like, you know what? When I've been, whenever I've worked out, especially during like this period of COVID, I have always felt more relaxed and you know, my endorphins are running and I just feel really, really great. So I decided that I want to do some form of workout every single day or at least every other day. So I did yoga yesterday and then, and I'll link the video that I used. I did yoga yesterday and then I did this dance hall full body workout today, which is 30 minutes, kicked my ass. <laughs> It was so hard. It was so incredibly hard, but I did enjoy it. I have started also, now that I found you, I'm doing a separate reading vlog for this one, which I, I lost my pen again. I lost my green pen and I specifically picked it up off the ground because I dropped it. But I'm 33 pages into this one and it's it's interesting. It's interesting. But you'll see all of my thoughts in that vlog. And then I'm listening to Twist It Still. And I'm also listening to This Is Major, which is another nonfiction book, which I think is it's so far it's pretty decent. I'm only 11% into that one. I am 36% into Real Men Knit and I'm about 40% into Twisted. So we're moving right along. I do have some book mail and some non-book mail. <laughs> okay, so this is this is this is babies. I got baby girl this because of the fact that she had one of these, but then it broke. So it's her favorite thing. It plays She loves it so I did get her that and then let's see what else here so this is all stuff that I believe I have ordered yes it is all stuff that I've ordered okay so I just had said I think in my last vlog that I had one of the novellas for the princess in theory series and I didn't have this one which is once ghosted twice shy and I needed to get that so now I have all the books in the series and I need to binge it probably sometime in November is when it's going to happen because the follow-up series comes out in December and now the next box okay so I ordered a copy of Monster Volume 1 by Naoki Orasawa and I'm probably saying his first name wrong but I have already read this I did a what's it called a first impressions video of this and I'll make sure I link it in the card symbol above but it's been so long since I read it and this is definitely like a psychological thriller manga 
and I actually need to do a reread of it because I don't remember most of it but I think it's this doctor who saves these twins but then like one of the twins ends up being evil like serial killer type of evil and it goes from there so this is the binder that includes the first two volumes and once I read them then I will go through and get the next volumes and this is the last thing so I was sent a copy of burn our bodies down and this is from penguin random house they sent me a copy of this I will be doing a special video for this one I believe it should come out the first week of September but I'm excited to read this one I know that a lot of people have liked it and Bethany and I seem to have similar tastes usually what she likes I like and then what she doesn't like I don't like either we pretty much have we, we fall along the same lines of stuff like that and Bethany absolutely loved this one I think Lala also loved this one so I'm so excited to pick it up I think that this has maybe some thriller aspects or horror aspects i know that rory power wrote wilder girls which has some body horror in it i haven't read it yet but i'm excited to read for her burn our bodies down all right y'all so that is it um i will do a, another check in later good morning it is Wednesday and I just dropped baby off I am now headed home I do have to go to work today I was I believe I said in my Monday clip that I was supposed to go to work on Monday but I didn't have to go to work on Monday I have to go to work today and I have some things that I want to get done before I go to work so I actually captioned the video that's going up today I captioned it last night so I just have to put the finishing touches on it and then that will premiere today at four o'clock which is my weekly reading vlog I also believe that I have rendered the footage for the video that's going to go up on Friday but I'm trying to get that edited and captioned today possibly and I think that that is basically it I'm about an hour and a half two hours out from finishing twisted which is really really interesting book I'm enjoying it but I want to know more about where the author stands it's almost like she's presenting this just as a dual perspective type of situation what I really wanted was where she stood on the topic because of the fact that she inserts her own opinions in terms of how she grew up but I'm not really getting a clear picture of where she stands about the whole argument of process versus natural hair as it is represented in the black community but overall for the most part I think I'm I'm enjoying it I think that it is educating me even though like I have gone through so many different transitions when it comes to my hair it's still educating me about some stuff that I wasn't necessarily aware of historically and culturally and how it ties back to a lot of West African ideals I am just really taking a lot of notes let's just put it that way so yeah I'm about to finish that one I just read about 50 pages last night of now that I found you so my goal is to finish that within the next couple days I'm doing a separate vlog for that one so I won't talk about that much in this weekly vlog after I finish now that I found you I have been wanting to read some manga y'all it's just been I've been wanting to and I haven't done it and I just really want to so I picked up skip beat again last night and I fell asleep reading it so I didn't really get that much read but I think I may maybe either next week or something I may do like a 24 hour manga reading vlog because I just really want to binge some manga I'm missing it I've been watching people in their manga hauls because I'm trying to find some new series I still have all of the recommendations that y'all 
have given me. I checked out all of those manga from the library and they're sitting as a stat. So maybe I would, I'm just gonna try to make my way through that. I was gonna do a, a project with those, but it's just, I have so much going on right now that I don't think that's gonna be feasible at the moment. So maybe something like a 24 hour manga reading vlog will work or maybe like a weekend reading vlog where, you know, I do 48 hours of reading nothing but manga. But we'll see what happens and I will check in later. You know, it would be really cool if I decided to stop leaving my camera on and not killing my battery. So this is literally going to be the quickest update ever because I'm about to walk out the door and go to work. I literally just got a, a package in the mail and it's from Harper's, Harper Collins. I don't know what it is. It just says it's from Harper Collins. And they said that they were sending us something and that the something that they were sending us was a surprise. So I'm finding out what it is right now on camera. And it is, <gasps> it's punching the air. <gasps> I can't believe it. they sent us a copy of Punching the Air. Okay, so this is by E.B. Saboy and Yusef Salam. And Yusef Salam is one of the exonerated five. When I say exonerated five, I mean like the Central Park five. I can't believe I got a copy of this. Oh, okay. This definitely may get moved up on the TBR because it's written in verse. I didn't know it was going to be written in verse. And this is one of my anticipated releases for this year. Oh my gosh, look at that cover. Okay, okay, enough, enough, enough. I gotta go, y'all. I will do a check-in later. <laughs> to do this quick before my battery ends today was a crazy day um i uploaded a video which was my august mid-month wrap-up which was super super late and i am currently uploading the video for now that i found you i finished this this week as well um which is going up as part of the hero voices uh tour I have book mail but I want to show you like for the rest of the night I really need to start medical apartheid um, however what I'm thinking is that I just want to kind of read what I want to read for right now so I think I'm gonna read on a volume six because I just want to read something for fun I just I just I'm at that place right now where I just I just want to read something for fun I want to read something light. I don't want to think about anything that I have to read so the two books that I just purchased and it is Let Us Dream and Be Not Afraid by Alyssa Cole. These are two novellas that are historical fiction and I am really excited to read both of them. They are absolutely gorgeous. These covers are beautiful. Mm. So <laughs> hopefully I'll be reading it these soon. I think I just need to choose a month where I just read and I said historical fiction but they're historical romances and I really need to read some. So this package is actually, this next package is actually a book that was sent to me for review. The author reached out to me and I thought her book sounded really interesting. I can get this open. Oh, this is so sweet of her. So she actually put like little um, festive stuff in it, which is so cool. Okay, so thank you to Meg for sending me this. This is the Cyborg Tin Tinker, which is the curious case of the Cyborg Circus, and this is book one in her series. Oh my gosh, Meg. Oh, that was so sweet of her. So she signed it for me, and she sent me all of this stuff. Oh, look at this, y'all. So she sent me these cards, she sent me a bookmark, and she sent me a signed character card. 
Oh, Meg, thank you so much. And then she sent me a note, too. This is going to be so fun. Okay, so I, f I feel like this is kind of usually outside of my general area of what I read. This is definitely has steampunk sci-fi feels to it. It is considered a fantasy more so than sci-fi. I don't know why I said sci-fi, but it's definitely like a steampunk fantasy and I have not really touched into that subgenre. So when Meg reached out to me, I was like, I really want to read it because it just sounds really interesting. So this is the cover and it is beautiful. It is so beautiful. So thank you so much to Meg. I will be reading this. I think this comes out in November. So I definitely will be picking this up next month or in October. But I want to read it before it does come out. So so these are the three books that I got. And I will be um, just reading and hanging out. I'm going to caption that video so I don't have to worry about doing it tomorrow. But I gotta wait for it to convert and then upload it and then I'll caption it. So this will probably be the only check-in for Friday, y'all. Just be the only check-in. But I will check in tomorrow. <laughs> feel like this is turning into a weekend reading vlog because I was so busy this week and I filmed a whole another vlog that is going up today so the joy of including two vlogs so we are on our usual walk this morning I am currently listening to Real Men Knit and it's so boring I'm about 52% in and it's so damn dry I there's no chemistry there's nothing happening I'm not enjoying it so I'm gonna finish it I think I can finish it today I didn't read Nana last night but I want to read it today I already have my video for Monday shot thank goodness <laughs> so we're just gonna continue our walk and I will check in later. volume one and I have like a few more pages before I finish so I am in the process right now of doing some dishes I'm about to make some breakfast for me she's already eaten and then we're gonna sit down we put on Moana for the 10th hundredth time if any of you all have kids or you're around little ones a lot or nieces nephews cousins sisters whatever just around little kids they love to rewatch movies over and over again. And Baby Girls is Moana. I'm so tired of watching Moana. <laughs> but she loves it, so we watch it. It's one of her favorites already. I have not really finished much of anything else. I still need to finish that trash book, Real Men Knit by Quana Jackson, which I probably will finish today. So I think I'm gonna focus on finishing that one finishing champions and then I need to think about what I'm going to make it through next week and I have some book mail that I need to unbox but I'll do that a little later today but we'll check in 
What you eating, kid? You got tomato on your shirt? <laughs> you got tomato, cheese, banana, and Cheerios. Oh, the God. A big, big smack of tomato on your t-shirt. <laughs> I know. Am I disturbing you? Should I mind my own business? Yum. <laughs> hey, y'all. So I'm here for my final clip. As you all know that this vlog this week has been shorter than a lot of the vlogs that I've done. And usually that ends up happening when I have like double vlogs going on during the week because I have to split my time and attention between both vlogs. And I had a vlog go up on Saturday of my read of Now That I Found You. So because that happened, this vlog naturally ended up being a little bit shorter. And it's going to happen with this week's upcoming vlog as well because I have two vlogs in addition to my traditional weekly vlog that I have to go and do. One is being done for a project that I'm working on in conjunction with a publisher and then the other one is a vlog for my patrons. So we are going to talk a little bit about what I have read this week. I had a interesting week. I had a bumpy road emotionally this week but it got so much better on Saturday and Sunday after I kind of just detoxed and took a step back from everything. I am trying to be super mindful right now of burnout and I don't want to burn out so I am still going to be pushing out my content. I was questioning whether I wanted to do these weekly reading vlogs or not but I just like doing them and sometimes it's a little bit hard because we're in the middle of a pandemic so there's not a lot that is going on and sometimes it can seem like it's a little repetitive but I like sharing my thoughts while I'm reading and having these mini discussions as I'm reading some of these books. I really like being able to stream these live and connect with everyone and kind of just talk about some things. They're a great way for me to document baby girl growing up and I really had to sit down and weigh the pros and cons of doing weekly vlogs because last week I just was at a point where I was like I don't know if I want to do them but there's so many benefits to me doing these weekly vlogs for me personally that I just don't I don't want to give them up even if they're not going to always be an hour long, even if they're not going to 100% all the time be super creative. These are my ways to just talk to y'all. These are my ways to talk about books while I'm reading them. These are ways to constantly document my thoughts. These are ways for me to document my child growing up. So it's just there's so many benefits to them that I think I'm just going to continuously do them. But there may be weeks where there are vlogs that are 40 minutes long and then there may be weeks where the vlogs are only 20-30 minutes long and I think that that's okay and I have to get to a point where I'm okay with my vlogs not necessarily being an hour long. I know it was easier before but now that work is starting back up and I have some grant stuff that I'm applying for. I have some major projects that I'm taking on with my job and parenting because my my baby's getting older now. It's just a lot of stuff that's going on that's going to take away a little bit from the length of these but I think for the most part I do enjoy them. I think I just get I think I just get temporarily stressed about not being perfect with them and that is my Virgo spirit, that perfectionist spirit. And I think that I have to give myself a little bit more leadway and a little bit more flexibility and really just be comfortable with them not always being perfect or them not always having a lot going on in them like this week, which is not as long as previous weeks. And understanding that that is okay, that there's nothing wrong with that. So I, I just wanted to say that, that I was contemplating like, I even had filmed a clip where I had said that I was no longer going to do these but I think I just needed to take some time and really think and really 
kind of not hold myself to such a high standard in terms of doing these. I think this just like, gives me a, a little bit of flexibility in my schedule and I know that so many people enjoy them and I don't want to take that away. I have people comment all the time that say like I love your vlogs, I love just connecting with you via your vlog so we're gonna keep going. If it ever becomes a point where it is literally too much or if it becomes a point where my mental health or my personal life is becoming a little bit too much and this is not helping then I will pull back but for right now I think we're we're in a good place so what I read this week I don't think I mentioned it in last week's vlog I'm hoping I didn't and it was the marriage game by Sarah Desai and I thought that this was a really really funny rom-com it was intriguing it had a good premise it was literally a marriage game that these two characters were playing but there were some technical and plot things that happened at the end that just didn't work for me and I ended up only giving it three stars. I did end up finishing Twisted the Tangle History of Black Hair Culture. My review of that will be going up soon where I talk about the book as well as my black hair experience and then of course you all know that I finished Now That I Found You by Christina Forrest which I did a separate reading vlog for which is already up on my channel. It's a separate reading vlog and then uh, a review and then 15 thoughts that I had while reading it. I also read some comics. I just I had a lot <laughs> going on and comics are always like my safe space and comics help me process a lot. So I ended up finishing and I haven't marked these as read on Goodreads yet which is why I'm scrolling through. I finished Champions Volume 1 Change the World by Mark Wade, which is essentially a book that takes place during Civil War II and these characters don't want to be part of the Avengers anymore. It's not Spider-Man as in like Spider-Man Peter Parker, but I can't tell. This is not Miles Morales. It may be Miles Morales, but it's Spider-Man. It is the Hulk, but it is not the Hulk that you usually see. It is the Vision's daughter and then it is what's the guy's name from X-Men that has the the Vision the red light. You all know who I'm talking about. It's him but it's him from days from future past kind of thing so it's a younger version of him. Then it's Miss Marvel Kamala Khan and this other character that I'm not as familiar with but I ended up enjoying that one. I am going to probably give it a three and a half out of five stars. I think that it tried to tackle a lot of social issues at one time and it's not that I didn't enjoy it but it just became clear what it was doing. I don't know. I'm still debating. I'm still debating. I'll have to see. This is what happens when I do these little miniature wrap-ups and I haven't written my reviews and I haven't been able to really stew over what I want to um, to talk about in terms of my ratings. I also ended up reading Justice League Volume 1 Origin and this was really good. I think I'm going to give this one four stars because this is basically the origins of Justice League and it's the origins of everybody and I didn't realize that Green Lantern was such a jerk. I did not realize that Green Lantern was this off-kilter wannabe comedian that Loki was an ass. I never knew that but it is it doesn't give the explicit origin story of everybody but you see what happens when Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, it's Flash, it's Wonder Woman, and it's the cyborg. You see cyborgs, you see his origin story but you don't really see anybody else's origin story necessarily. So yeah, and Aquaman. Aquaman is in there as well. So it's their quote unquote origin and them coming together as a team. I really enjoyed it. I loved how they meshed together. It was just completely different. And this is something I usually don't do. Talk about a, a couple of things that I started but hadn't finished which may bleed over into next week and that is We Are Not From Here by Jenny Torres Sanchez. This is the arc that I'm reading it's three kids that are from Guatemala and I'm at the part where I think they're about to try to make it through Mexico to the United States because of some violence that's happening. 
I did not expect this book to be so graphic. There are graphic depictions of birth and violence and it kind of threw me off because I wasn't expecting it. It's not anything that it's not bad because it's the truth it's some it's reality of what some people experience but I don't think I was expecting it to be <laughs> to be right there I, because I just never expect sometimes for YA books to take that huge leap but that one definitely did. I am also finishing up Real Men Knit by Quana Jackson and it is horrible. I'm, I don't like it y'all. I don't like it. I think I only have about an hour and a half left of it. Yeah, an hour and a half. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's probably going to end up being a two star read for me because mm -mm, mm -mm. the characters have no chemistry. The plot is boring. Nothing is happening. They're having their first steamy scene and I'm like, why? You have no chemistry. There, I'm not, usually when they're like scenes like that happen, like I even am low key like into it. I'm enjoying it, but not this, not this at all. So yeah, that's about it. And that's all that I read this week. So I read three books and two comics, which is not a bad week, but as always, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content from me click the subscribe button if you're looking for ways to support my channel will be down in the description box below there will also be links to my social media and i'll be back with another reading vlog next week y'all